Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I have just woken up. Um, it is currently Tuesday. God, you can see my sunrise alarm, basically. I don't like getting up really abruptly in the morning, so I have a sunrise alarm um, from Philips, and it is the absolute bomb for waking me up in the morning. So it's currently seven o'clock. I woke up gradually, so I woke up just before seven um, to the light of this. Oh my God. Then it does bird song. So I'm feeling very refreshed and I'm just about to get up and I'm gonna do my fourth run ever since, since the marathon. Um, and I'm gonna be running to physio and then I'm gonna record a little bit at physio and I'm gonna talk you through everything that physio is teaching me and everything that I'm doing with um, Zoe, my physio, and hopefully give you a little bit of an insight into how I'm recovering um, in order to do my next run. finishing off my juice which is honestly there is nothing better in the morning to get you up than a very gingery gingery juice so <laughs> I'm just gonna finish this and then I'm gonna head out on my run to physio and then I'm gonna run back again it's about two kilometers in each direction and that will be my longest run yet albeit a little bit split up cheers since the marathon I have done three runs, one has been two kilometres, two have been three kilometres. Minimal pain on them but even running down the stairs now I can feel some stiffness in my knee I think because it's quite early in the morning. I'm hoping that I'll be able to manage the 4k today. We're hoping to go up by one kilometre each run but never run two days consecutively. That's my current plan thanks to my physio and I think it's working quite well at the moment but as soon as I feel any pain I'm just gonna stop, so woohoo! Hello, sunshine! <laughs> physio with Zoe. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and we've just done some of my exercises which I'm going to put in the video. Basically I'm going to get Zoe to explain a little bit about what IT band syndrome is because I think there's a lot of misinformation out there and who better to explain it than my physio. You are from Physio Motion Limited. Is this correct? Yes. <laughs> um, can you explain a little bit about what IT band syndrome is? Historically IT band was known as the band on the side of your leg are getting tight, but with all the research coming out, it shows that actually it's not a identity in itself, it's part of the fascia that covers your muscles. So it can't actually get tight and nor can you stretch it out. So when we think of IT band now as physios, we're thinking about your glutes and um, another muscle called tennis fasciolata, which is more at the front of the hip, but still kind of at the side which attaches into the top of your ITV and mm -hmm. um, getting tight. Um, but typically this is because they've got weak. So they're not kind of so weak that they're not working 
and you're actually activating them, they're just weaker. Which, and your body's response to that is to shorten them, because if your muscles are slightly shortened, it's much easier to activate them. Um, and because they're attached to ITV, it pulls on it, but because it can't stretch, rather than it kind of getting longer, it just gets more taut. Um, and it's near other bony structures around the hip, and so it then rubs against that, and that's what causes it to get painful. Yeah. So you get pain in the hip, and then so I get pain in my knee. Yeah. And is that does it do the same down there? Yeah, because it's all the way along. It's that two points that stick out. It will rub against. Um, and if you look at your knee, if you're super skinny, um, you'll notice like and you have no muscle. You'll notice that your knee will always kind of go outwards. Um, because of how the bone is designed, it kind of increases. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I can see that. Um, the surface area is bigger at the bottom yeah. than it is along the shaft. Right. Because it's needed for you to kind of weight bear on, which is why it irritates that. Oh, okay. And so that's why we treat it with um, gluteal exercises. So strengthening rather than stretching. Yeah. Got um, it. And there is... So with stretching, we're not saying not to stretch, but um, you'll notice that with anything to do with stretching, any part of the body, it gives you some short-term relief, but the symptoms come back. Yeah, always, four years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, strengthening is more of a long-term benefit. Right. But it's also, because you've got weak and you've compensated, so it's turning out the feet, yeah. knees dipping in because of the tightness around the hip. We then have to address that. So it's okay getting strong. Um, and as a great physio, that's probably and um, probably quite a bit of it. There's nothing wrong with getting strong, mm -hmm. but it's also making sure you can control the movement. Right. So there's no such thing as a bad movement. It's when you can't control that movement is when you end up getting injuries. Great. Thank you so much. I'm feeling really positive after that physio session. Oh my God, hello sunshine. I was worried that I wasn't gonna be progressing very quickly because when I took six weeks off, when I first got IT band syndrome, I went back to doing what I was doing before, even after doing the physio that I was told to do and basically just got the same injury again. I wasn't allowed to run in those six weeks, but we're four weeks on from the marathon now and I'm running properly. I ran two and a half kilometers here. I'm gonna run two kilometers back. She says that I'm improving and like you can even see it on the videos of me running. My running form is definitely getting better. So I'm feeling super positive about it and just hoping that um, the progress continues. I'm gonna run back now because it is absolutely freezing. <laughs> just got back from my run and the physio and I'm just about to make breakfast. I always prefer to have breakfast a little bit after doing exercise if I'm doing it in the morning just because I hate to have it like bleh, 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 my stomach. I don't really know how to describe that any better. But you know what I mean. If you've run when you've just had food, you know exactly what I mean. Um, <laughs> so I'm just gonna make a protein uh, smoothie now and then I've got my friend coming round and we're going to shoot some photos. Amazing. It's the best breakfast ever. Gonna go shower after I drink this. Okay, so since a lot of you have been asking about my rehab routine and my return back to running, which I'm very excited about by the way, I just thought I'd give you a little bit of an oversight into kind of how we're going about it. If you don't know, basically I have IT band syndrome and as Zoe explained, that causes quite severe pain in your knees and often your hips as well. I've had it for about four years and I went to a physio when I first got it, who just told me to stop running and basically to stop doing all the 
things that I really enjoyed doing because every time I went back to them um, it just started hurting really badly again. So needless to say I ignored him, didn't go, <laughs> didn't ever go back to a physio again because I thought that was just what they were going to say and did some of the rehab exercises he had given me as well in an attempt to kind of alleviate the pain. It did also mean that I didn't run further than maybe four kilometers in about three years or something you know I do it the occasional maybe four or five k run but mostly I was just doing two to three kilometers on the treadmill um, every other day and that was it because I was so terrified of the amount of pain that comes with IT band syndrome. When I finished my marathon this year round I am in a much better place actually to receive, uh, receive support and I'm so lucky because all I basically needed to do was complain about my injury on social media and I got so much really helpful advice from people and then got connected to Zoe who is my physio who is also married to my cousin which is how I know about her. But basically we are working together over the course of probably about six weeks to focus on my IT band rehab and getting back into running. The first session that we had together, I could still barely bend my knees, walking was still an issue, but I was, we did this session and it just left me so exhausted and my quads are seriously weak. My legs are just quite weak in general, um, especially my supporting muscles. So the first session was exhausting and I just thought there's no way I'm gonna be able to get back to running in time for my next race. Thankfully, this, the next session after that was so much better. So now we're on to our third session and basically I feel kind of back to normal. So I'm really excited to be able to start getting back to proper runs, longer runs. So far I've done, as I said previously, I've done one kilometer, sorry, one two kilometer run and two three kilometer runs. And then as of this morning, also a four kilometer run, although it was split into two different bits. What we're doing, what Zoe has said that I'm allowed to do is to do runs on um, alternate days. And every time I do a run, I can add a kilometer. Um, which is incredible, I didn't know it was gonna improve that quickly. And then when I've added that kilometer, if it feels fine, I can still add a kilometer to the next one. But if, it's, if it hurts during that run, then I should take another day off and then do exactly the same length as the previous one to see if it's any better on the next one. And then I'm doing my physio exercises, or I'm trying to do every day, but I may be hitting five times a week um, at the gym and working on strength training and also HIIT training. Um, not doing anything with really heavy weights at the moment, but still doing a bit of resistance work and boxing, of course. So my workout split currently is three to four, four runs a week and one boxing session, five physio sessions. I think that's about right, yeah. So I hope you found that enjoyable and informative. I will be back next week with more running content um, as I start training towards my next event, my next race. And um, I'll be keeping you all up to date with how my physio is going over on my Instagram, so do go and check that out as well. If you did like this video, please do like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>